bienvenidos a, a su programa de Technical Play. Se puso más difícil el juego, parece que hay un campo de... Can I take a turn? Sinceramente un deck solamente fuente buenísimo. No te pierdas Tech Play por Hack TV, lunes a viernes por el canal 33 y canal 30 de Liberty. Y bienvenidos una vez más a tu programa de Tech Display. Hey, folks, Billy here, and I support Sick Kids in Toronto and I Extra Life because Sick Kids has done some really important things for some really important people in my life. I, I really enjoy anything that gives the gaming community a chance to get together and to really do something something good. Usually gaming is such a, a solitary, lonely thing. It really lets us all come together, have fun, whether it's at a live event uh, held by a guild or at Extra Life United, or even all sitting around and watching a giant marathon live stream and getting to spend time with other people who love the same things that you probably love with a ton of passion. While at the same time becoming so much more aware of these important issues with, with what the Children's Miracle Network is doing, it's such a well organized organized charity that does such important work in the world and giving you the opportunity to raise potentially a lot of money for your local hospital. Yeah. Guys, it's Benny. Some people know me as Comic Storian, and I'm here for the Children's Hospital of Colorado. And I'm an ambassador this year because it's something that I can do, and I can help out a little bit more than just sitting around playing games by myself. There's something empowering about seeing everybody coming together and raising money for all of the sick children out there, and just being able to feel the energy and the vibe of everyone out here. It really gets you just wanting to help all these kids out. 62 kids enter a children's network hospital every minute. Thank you for supporting Extra Life. Ooh, what up guys? We are here back playing Persona for um, Golden. And I... In my headsets that was really loud um, but I hope all of you are having a great weekend and I hope all of you are you know just having a great day today today has been a lot of work if you guys follow me on Instagram you guys saw that one of my pictures was like being like puffy red because I was working in the yard in my house and then I did went to the grocery store to get some things. I actually did rest a while, so that's why I'm here. <coughs> My bad. So, oh guys, it's been a crazy hectic day. Hey, what's up, everyone? I hope you're doing amazing. You're, I hope you, you had a great day today. So we're back at Persona 4 Golden. We give thanks to Ricky that not only he donated $150 for Extra Life, he actually gifted Persona 4 Golden to me. And he was like, hey, if you haven't played it, go ahead and test test the waters if you haven't played this game and then I, I I wrote him and I'm like hey I already tested the game I already played the game I really do love it I played this game actually when it was for PS Vita and it was a hell of a ride it was super fun so we're just back here again to the velvet room and we're gonna continue this story until we finish it and then we're gonna be playing other adventure games um some Sundays 
I will be going ahead if you guys want to join. I will be playing sometimes Fortnite or uh, or any other game that it's multiplayer. So pay attention to that, guys. So if you guys remember, the first part that we did uh, for the game was really uh, very slow. It's an introduction of the game, introduction of all the characters, of the storyline, what's going on, and and everything. Why do I? I'm, I'm pressing the. I'm pressing the. I'm using the other thumb thumb from the controller. Like if this was like uh, ex, uh, a a first person shooter or something. So how was your day, peeps? I hope you guys had a great day. Really, it's uh, for me. It was a great day. Uh, and like I said, it was tiring. Plus, there's a lot of things that are coming forward. Um, I'm actually to tell you guys a little bit of the day. I was I'm speaking to. Oh, you're up. Well, I'm off. Dad has to go do something. He got a call, so he left. One of the things about Persona 4 Golden is that there's a lot of dialogue. Most most RPGs are a lot of dialogue. When I looked, I saw three police cars zooming by. You live by the police station, don't you? Did you hear anything? I heard some yelling, but nothing more. A total disappointment. <laughs> Jeez, you need to pay more attention to stuff like that. How else are we supposed to get the juicy stories? So, hey, did you see it yesterday? So before I click to continue the dialogue, so today I spoke to a f couple of friends of mine, um, and they know that I have a little small little business in TCG Player where I sell uh, Magic: The Gathering cards, and we actually um, had a talk, and they want to get into the business as well. So we're all investing. We're going to start investing in the TCG Player store. We're going to change the name um, soon. So I still don't know what are we going to change it. Probably if they let us change it, we will. If they can, if we can't, then we'll keep the same way but we will be starting to sell probably i hope um, magic Yu-Gi-Oh, and pokemon we're going to be starting to sell everything online and then flesh and blood the card game i am actually going to be making research to build a website online to see if we can get um the flesh and blood market here in puerto rico moving forward they're going to be on commons on commons rares and everything a little bit of everything just to get you guys going so let's continue this storyline of course not what is that rumor for real i don't know but it seems like a lot of people have seen it yes if we're talking about that tv channel at midnight freaking like little butterfly got into my nose that little that little rumor of the TV yes that is totally true I did it last night I'm just kidding Yukiko <laughs> said she'd be here after lunch I wonder why they're holding a school assembly all of a sudden hey what's wrong Yosuke hmm? oh it's nothing Everyone, please settle down. The school assembly is about to begin. First, the principal has something to say. Why is she wearing that Egyptian? I regret to say that I have a terrible announcement for all of you. One of our third year students, Ms. Saki Konishi of Class 3, has passed away. Passed away? <sighs> Ms. Konishi was found deceased early this morning. The reasons behind her passing are currently under investigation by the police. Wow. 
If they ask you for your cooperation, I urge you as students of this school to provide only the facts. Only the facts, guys. Only the facts. Because facts. All right, please quiet down. <laughs> I have been assured by the faculty that there's been no evidence that bullying was involved in the incident. So mind what you say, not only to the police, but to anyone who asks. Found yeah. dead? How could this happen? I think we're gonna see Teddy soon again. She died the same way as that announcer, right? It's so creepy. Well, last time it was from an antenna, but this time she was hanging from a telephone pole. It's gotta be a serial murder case. Someone said the cause of death was some unknown poison. Unknown? Come on, this isn't some sci-fi drama. Oh, by the way, did you hear? Someone saw a girl that looked like Saki on that Midnight Channel thingy. They said she totally looked like she was in pain. Isn't that scary? <laughs> Sounds like someone had a nightmare. The media's been broadcasting their interviews with her nonstop. So maybe they just had Saki on the brain. Sheesh. It's easy to toss around theories if you're not personally involved. Hey, did you guys check out the TV last night? Yosuke, not you too! Just listen for a sec! Something kept bothering me, so I watched it again, and I think the girl on the screen was Saki-senpai. There's no mistaking it. Senpai looked like she was writhing in pain. And then, she disappeared from the screen. What? You heard Senpai's body was found in a similar situation as that announcer's, right? Well, remember that guy you told us about? How he was all excited that his soulmate was the announcer? Maybe, just maybe, but... Ms. Yamano might have been on that midnight channel before she died too. This is something that actually What's keeps that my attention. Mean? Like, the storyline of Persona 4 is so great and so amazing. You know, I just love the whole concept of it. That, like, oh, at midnight you see your soulmate, but, but really it's something else. That is super nice. Hold on. Are you saying people who appear on that TV die? I can't say for sure. But something tells me. I just can't dismiss it as coincidence. <gasps> Plus, remember what that bear thing said? How that place was dangerous and we should leave before the fog clears? It also said that someone's been throwing people in there. And that room with the posters on the wall, it has to have something to do with the announcer's death. I mean, don't you think there's some kind of connection there? Yeah, I don't know. I, I think it does make sense. Give me one second, guys. in the TV have something to do with Senpai and the announcer's death? Hmm, that is one good question, Willis. Well, what do you think? So it's not just me, huh? If there is a connection, then it's a good bet that the two of them went inside that world. That would explain the posters in that room. It makes completely sense. Which means, if we look around, we might find a place that has something to do with Senpai, too. Yosuke, don't tell me. Yeah, I'm thinking about going in again. I want to find out for myself. D don't do this. You should just let the police handle this and... You think we can rely on the police? 
They haven't made any progress on the announcer's case. Besides, even if we told them about the world inside the TV, there's no way they're gonna believe us. If I'm completely off base with this, that's fine. It's just, I need to know why Senpai had to die like this. Yosuke. After what I've seen and what I've put together, there's... Sorry, but you're the only person who can help me. I'm gonna go get ready. I'll be waiting for you at Juness. I can kinda understand how he feels. But we can't be sure we'll be able to get out safely again. What should we do? You serious? Anyways, let's go to Juness. We can't leave Yosuke alone. Now, one of the things that I actually like about the game is that, um, do you like to? Yes, save. One of the things that I like about the Persona 4 game is that you guys came in this story the reason why um the main character has no name actually he does have a name in like in the anime and uh and in the movie wait not there's no movie but there's the, in the anime he has a name the thing is that in person for golden one of the things that mainly that i love about the game is that the main character is you so every decision is like if you were the one making the decisions in the game no second guys i'm getting a bottle of water because h2o is good and puerto rico is hot as heck Okay. We came to stop you, idiot! Come on, you really shouldn't do this. It's too dangerous. I know, but we were able to come back once, right? If we go in from the same location, maybe we'll meet that bear again. Maybe isn't good enough. Look, I can't just act like everyone else and pretend this has nothing to do. That's true, but... What about you? Could you just walk away? Yeah, I thought not. I'm glad to know you're that kind of guy. Don't worry, I'm not going in without a plan. Chie, I'm leaving you in charge of this. Huh? We'll go in with this tied to me. So I want you to hold on to this and wait here. What? Here. This is for you. I thought it might be better than going in empty-handed. All right, let's go. There's no use wasting any more time. Chie, whatever you do, don't let go of the... Hey! I said wait! Look at the light. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to look weird at all. <gasps> See? I knew this wasn't going to work. Now what? If I'm not mistaken, I think all of them have access to, like, the world. Uh, is this... Look, this is the same place as last time. So they are connected from place to place. You guys! Why'd you come back? Oh my god, it's Teddy! I get it! You're the ones behind this! You're that thing from last time. 
Wait, what the hell did you just say? Lately, I can tell someone's been throwing people in here. It's making this world more and more messed up. This is the second time you guys came here, and I don't think anyone forced you in. That means you're the most suspicious. You guys must be the ones throwing the people in here. What are you talking about throwing people in? If someone was thrown in here and they couldn't get out, they might die. Who would do such a... Wait a sec. All this talk about someone throwing people in here... Does he mean Senpai and the announcer? Did that someone throw those two in here? Hey, what do you think? Yeah, I agree. Let's assume he's telling the truth. Could it be that someone's throwing people in here, intending to kill them? If that's the case... What are you guys mumbling about? Why'd you come here anyways? It's a one-way door! You can't get out once you're in! Remember how I had to let you guys out? Yeah, whatever. We don't need your help this time. See? This time we have a life... Li what? Hey! You better let us out once we're done investigating here. <laughs> I'm the one who wants to investigate! I've lived here for a long time, but it's never been noisy like this till now. Do you have proof? Prove to me you're not throwing people in here. See? So it is you guys! For the last time, it's not us, so we've got nothing to prove to you. Hey, you better answer our questions. This isn't like last time when we came by accident. We're dead serious. Listen up, because people have died in our world. Every time the fog appears, a dead body shows up with it. It has to be related to this place somehow. If you know something, tell us. A dead body? Whenever the fog appears? I know that if it's foggy on your side, the fog lifts here. It's really dangerous when the fog lifts. That's when the shadows get violent. Ah, I get it. Huh? If you get it, then explain it to us, damn it. If it's foggy on our side, it isn't in here. Shadows get violent? That's why I said to hurry back. It's dangerous when that happens. Okay, no more questions. I know you guys did it. You better stop right now. I told you and told you we're not the ones doing it. I've about had it with you. Why the hell won't you listen to what we're saying? I'm just saying... <laughs> You might be the culprits. Uh, I'm just making sure. What? Man, this bear's driving me nuts. What is this place anyways? It looks like a TV studio. Is something being filmed here? Hey, hey, don't tell me. Is that weird show being filmed here? Weird show? Filmed? What does that mean? Uh... I'm asking if someone's been filming the people that get thrown in here. Eh? I don't get it. This world has always been like this. No one has ever done that filming thing here. Only me and shadows are here! I told you before! We don't know what these shadow things are. Or what you are either, for that matter. You keep telling us to prove our innocence, but you're the most suspicious thing here. Maybe you're the real culprit. And what's with that stupid costume? I'd say it's time you showed your face! Whoa! What the hell are you? It's empty. 
Oh god, I remember this. In this show, in the anime is really funny. Me? The culprit? I wouldn't do such a thing. I just live here. I just want to live here peacefully. <sighs> okay, I'll believe that you guys aren't the culprits. But I want you to find the real guy who did all this. You have to stop him. Promise me. Or else... I'm not gonna let you guys out of here. <laughs> you little... This can't keep going on. My home here will be a complete mess. And then... And then... <laughs> what are you crying for all of a sudden? Jeez, this thing's really weirding me out. Hey, what should we do? It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery, mystery will be imposed upon, upon you. you. You're the only ones I can ask. Will you promise me? Thank you! Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Damn bear. Practically holding a gun to our heads. But it's true that we came here to figure things out. So far, we're completely in the dark. Look for the culprit, huh? Bring it on. Might as well introduce ourselves. I'm Yosuke Hanamura. And this is my buddy. John Ramos. You got a name? Teddy! <laughs> Figures. But how are we supposed to find the culprit in the first place? I don't know. Oh, but I know where the last person came in. The last person? You mean Saki-senpai? I mean the person who came in and disappeared last time. I don't know the name. Well, I'll take you there. You might find clues. Oh, one thing first. You two should put these on. What are these glasses for? You can actually find the glasses. The glasses, you can find them to put like prescription. Exactly the same way you can um, there's a frame series for sword art online That um, you can buy the frame of your favorite Sal character um, the ones that I have seen at least myself there's Kito Asuna Shino and I don't remember if there was more frames um, But I know you can find from those three each one have like a distinctive style the Shino and Azuna, sadly, they're not like um, unisex, so you can't find, they're like really girly. The Kirito ones are really nice. They're like something like mine, my frame, like like this squared, but in the, here in this section, they, um, one side has, um, one of the, each side has a sword that had Kirito used in the in the Whoa. first season the difference is like night and day they'll help you walk through the fog well I've been here for a long time so you can rely on me uh, but I can only show you where the place is you guys will have to defend yourselves what happened to relying on you Th there better not be any monsters you understand we brought weapons but I mean they're more for show we just got here. If it's so dangerous, why don't you do something instead of relying on us? Uh-uh. 
No way! I've got no muscles. Oh, oh, I'll give you guys moral support from a safe distance. <laughs> How's that sound? No! Is this thing for real? Uh, this is so lame. We swore to find the culprit, and this is all the backup we get? <laughs> oh, yeah. Can I ask you something? Who's this Saki senpai person? Someone you know? <sighs> that doesn't matter right now. Anyways, at least now we know senpai might have been thrown in here. Maybe we can find more information, too. Let's get moving. Is this place it looks just like the shopping district what's going on here some weird places have appeared here recently things are getting so tangled I, I don't know what to do uh, by the way why are you standing so far from us you better not be planning to hightail it if something does come up <laughs> of course not <laughs> I mean, um, I can't stand too close, you know? I get in your way. Sure. Uh, man, they really went all out on this. But out of all the places in town, why'd they replicate this one? How should I know? This is reality for the one who's here. As usual, nothing you say makes any sense. But if this is our shopping district, we're not far from Saki Senpai's. I knew it! This is the liquor store that Senpai's parents run. Does this mean Senpai disappeared here? What could have happened? Wait a second! They're here! What? Shadows! I had a feeling they were going to attack! Stay calm and listen. Some shadows have weaknesses. If you can pinpoint that weakness and take advantage of it, the battle will be a lot easier. I can tell this one has a weakness too. Try stuff out and see what works. have what effects on enemies.
<laughs> Amazing, Sensei. So one of the things that I didn't do that much in Persona 4 when I was playing in the Vita was grind. So I am going to make sure that I grind a lot. Because this, um, all the Persona games, what defines your characters or your team is how much you like reach of a level. So let's put in an example. You know that when you play Pokemon or you play um, uh, any MMORPG, you always want to be like a higher level to whoever you're going up against, right? So let's um, let's put an example. The first gym in Pokemon Brock. So you have uh, Charmander in his normal. I think it's uh, level ten or eleven normally where you see his Pokemon so you want to put like all of your team to like level 15 or, or 13 you know to reach type some type of a cap so this is what this is Whoa, what I'm going to do in this that? one I'm gonna try and grind as much as I can guys and I'm probably I'm gonna tell you guys I probably will put the stream short I really feel really tired like again I I worked a lot today and I was going to make some content today and everything but but again like I said I am tired plus I have not slept that did much I hear you this say week persona what was it I mean what did you do hey you think I can do it too calm down Miyosuke you're troubling sensei S sensei Gosh almighty, you're amazing, Sensei. I am one impressed bear. I can't believe you were hiding such an amazing power. No wonder the shadows were scared of you. <gasps> Are you the one who's able to bring people into this world? <laughs> and that's what I thought. This is really something. This is amazing. Don't you think so, Yosuke? Dude, you call him Sensei and then don't show me any respect? Sorry. Well, your support was I bad, though. I recommend this anime 100% peeps. Like, if you haven't seen this anime, go ahead and watch it. I think it's available in Crunchyroll, uh, so you can watch it in Crunchyroll. Crunchyroll is an amazing application. Again, this is not a sponsored uh, post or anything, but Crunchyroll is one of my favorite streaming platforms for anime. Um, the only thing that I would say that Crunchyroll should work on is their application for, uh, what's this called, um, for Roku. I think they they should do a better app for Roku. I gotta give you some credit for that. Huh? Really? <laughs> Alright. You two keep it up and I think we'll be fine from here on out. Now let's get back to the investigation. I wonder what could have happened to Senpai. Ugh, I wish Janess would go under. It's all because of that store. What the? Oh, I heard that Konishi-san's daughter is working there. Oh my, how could she with her family's business suffering like it is? I heard their sales have gone downhill because of Juness. Stop it. That poor father. To have his own daughter working for the enemy. What a troublesome child. Hey, hey, Ted. You said that this place is reality for those that are here, right? Well, bad. So, does that mean this was Senpai's reality when she wandered in here? I only know about what's over here. Fine. Whatever's going on here, we'll find out ourselves. Not 
out again. Saki, how many times do I have to tell you? Is this Senpai's dad? You know what the neighbors say about you, right? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You're the eldest daughter of a family who's owned this store for generations. Is it the money? Or did you meet some guy there? Just tell me why you have to work there of all places! I... I can't believe this. She seemed like she had fun at work. She never said anything like this to me. You're telling me this was how Senpai really saw things? These photos... It's the photo we took the other day with the other part-timers at Juness. Why is it cut up like this? I... never had the chance to say it. Is that... Senpai's voice? I always wanted to tell Hana-chan. Huh? Me? That he was a real pain in the ass. I was nice to him just because he was the store manager's son. That's all. But he takes it completely the wrong way and gets all enthusiastic. What a dick. Pain in the ass? Who cares about Juness anyway? Because of that store, our business is ruined. My parents hate me. The neighbors talk behind my back. I wish everything would just disappear. It's a lie. This can't be. Senpai's not like that. It's so sad. I feel so sorry for myself. Actually, I'm the one who thinks everything's a pain in the ass. <laughs> huh? Two Yosuke's? Who are you? I wouldn't think that. <laughs> yeah, right. How long are you going to keep deluding yourself? Screw the shopping district and Juness, too. You're sick of everything, especially living out in the sticks. What are you saying? You put on a good show of being carefree and happy-go-lucky because you're so terrified of being alone. The more, the merrier, right? You gotta be surrounded by people to block out the pain of isolation. Then what's this about checking out this world for Saki Senpai's sake? Ha! I know the real reason you came snooping. Stop it! <laughs> Why so panicked? I thought I was just spouting bullshit. Or maybe I do know everything you're thinking. Why's that? Because. You just came because you thought it sounded like a good time. What else is there to do out in this shithole? A world inside the TV. Now that's exciting. You didn't have a single other reason for coming here, did you? That's not true. Stop. Stop it. You're just trying to act like a big shot. If all went well, hey, maybe you could even be a hero. And that senpai you were so sweet on? Her death was the perfect excuse. That's not true! What are you? Who are you? <laughs> I already told you. I'm you. Your shadow. Mm -hmm. There's nothing I don't know about you. Screw that! That's I don't something know that you. I like about the game that, you know. One of the things that the game shows us is that you should always. Things that I like about the game, like I was mentioning, sorry, uh, you can't is be that me, you son of a the game bitch! shows you, of, like, it gives you like a good sense of like always be yourself. Don't be something that you're not, you know, because it's better to be yourself and to show people who you truly are than just show them like, well, this is me when I am not around you people, like. You know, just giving you like a hint, hint, hey, but no, you know, just be yourself completely, a hundred percent. That's 
right? Say it again! You're not me! You're nothing like me! Hm. Yeah, that's right. I am me now. I'm not you anymore, see? I am a shadow, the true self. I'll crush everything that bores me. Starting with you. Get out of my sight! How long can you survive? This one's much stronger than the last type. Be careful! Whenever you feel threatened, just defend. Thousand gen and a hundred experience, and we leveled up. Amazing, Sensei! Admit it, or it'll go berserk again. My 
myself. Damn it. It hurts to face yourself. I knew it wasn't lying. But I was so ashamed that I didn't want to admit it. You're me. And I'm you. When you get down to it, all of this is me. Senpai's voice. I wonder if that was something Senpai had been keeping deep down inside. <laughs> he was a real pain in the ass, huh? What a way to find out. Jeez, this is so embarrassing. If you weren't here, I don't know what would have happened. Thanks. Hey, Teddy. Could Senpai have been attacked by her other self here? Like how it just happened to me? I think so. The shadows here were originally born from humans. Okay. Sometimes the fog clears, then they all go berserk. And you saw what happens next. A strong-willed shadow draws others to it, and the big mass of shadows kills the host. So that's why people die when it gets foggy in our world. <sighs> Yosuke's pretty worn out. This world isn't made for humans. It's not comfortable for you here. I don't hear any more voices. I think we're done with this place. Let's go back. Hey, Teddy. You said that this place is reality for people who enter, right? So that shopping district and the weird room we saw before, did they exist because the ones who died entered this world and it became their reality? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, did those places form because of the people who entered this world? I don't know. It's never happened before. But that's probably where they were when the shadows attacked them. The fog does lift here sometimes. The shadows get really violent then. I always get so scared I have to hide when it happens. I sensed people here twice before, but both of them disappeared after the fog lifted. So let's get this straight. Senpai and that Yamano lady were thrown in here, and since they couldn't get out, they wandered around. After a while, that shadow thing came out of them. The fog cleared, it went berserk, and it ended up killing them. Does that sound right? So if I'd been here until the fog cleared, I would have been in much deeper trouble? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You were lucky. Sensei and me were here with you. Damn it. Senpai and that announcer, they were stuck here all alone. One could save them. Yosuke. They disappeared when the fog lifted, but they were safe before that. No shadows attacked them. They attacked us, though. Maybe they're keeping a close eye on us. They might see people who investigate this place as enemies. It'll be dangerous, but we might be able to fight them. We might save people. Are you saying if anyone else gets thrown in here, we can save them before they disappear? Like how you guys just saved me? Anyways, we need to catch the one who's throwing people in here and make him stop. Yeah, I'm finally starting to understand what's going on. Um, can I ask something too? If shadows are born from humans, 
What was Teddy born from? You, guys do you don't even know where you came from? I know some things, mostly about this world, but I don't know anything about myself. To be honest, I never thought about it until now. That's so you sad serious? when you don't know where you come from. No wonder we couldn't get a straight answer out of you. Will you guys come back here? You'll keep your word? Well, you're the one who said you weren't letting us out unless we do. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'll let you out. But there's one thing. I'll be waiting for you guys here. You need to come in from the same place every time, so we can meet up. You could come in from somewhere else, but then you won't end up here. You might show up somewhere I couldn't get to you. Then you'd be doomed. <laughs> Got it? Well, pretty much. Dude. All right, can you show us the way out? Roger that. One exit coming right up. Cool. First, we need to make sure there aren't any employees milling around out there. Okay, go, go, go! Uh, hey, stop squeezing, you little... might have kind of sort of been our fault. Maybe we did go a little too far. Let's apologize to her tomorrow. I'm completely wiped out. I'm gonna go home, soak in the shower for a while and get some sleep. I think I'm gonna sleep well tonight. <laughs> well, see you in the morning. Are you surprised to see me dressed this way? My parents sent me out on an errand. Um... Are you getting used to your new town and school? Yukiko is like one of my favorite characters from... From all of them. And if I'm not mistaken, I think she was the one that has like the most powerful persona out of the whole team. If I'm not mistaken. Really? But... It must be difficult moving to a place you know nothing about. I've never been out of Inaba, so I wouldn't know what it's like to transfer to a new school. Oh, are you getting along with Chie? I mean, I always leave early, so... I'm glad to hear that. Chie's very supportive, you know? It's always her who gives me the little extra push I need. We had homeroom together last year, too, and I still remember how we cut class sometimes. Oh, I, I should get going. I need to make tomorrow's arrangements with our head chef. Our inn can't function without me right now. Um, I'll see you at school then. <laughs>
Dad's late. Our next story is an update in our ongoing report on the bizarre murders occurring in Inaba. At around 7 a.m., local high school student Saki Konishi was found dead in Inaba's residential area. Since the body was positioned similarly to the last victim, and since Miss Konishi was the one who discovered that body, police are proceeding under the assumption that this may be a serial murder case related to the death of Mayumi Yamano. The coroner's report has established Miss Konishi's time of death at around 1 a.m. last night. The body went unnoticed until this morning as a result of the heavy fog blanketing the area. Another incident. Dad won't be coming home tonight. I'll be okay. Can you help me do some stuff around the house? Amagi Inn, located upstream of Samegawa River, is the town's oldest historical landmark. Vacationers are known to travel surprising distances in order to visit its open-air, radium-rich hot springs. After the incident with Miss Yamano, the manager has stepped aside, leaving her daughter Yukiko to fill her shoes. In other words, she's a manager who's still in high school. Now that has a nice ring to it. Let's see if we can interview her. Excuse me! Hmm? Um, are you speaking to me? We've heard that you're the new manager. Is it true you're still in high school? Oh, well, I'm only filling in temporarily. Someday, though. That aside, wow, you're looking gorgeous in that kimono. You must have had a lot of male visitors. That is so wrong. Huh? No, um... This is boring. Oh, I need to do the dishes. In other Inaba-related news, meteorologists are predicting heavy fog throughout the year. The region has seen an abnormal amount of fog over the past few years, and the cause of the climate change is unknown. Whatever the reason, residents of the Inaba area should be extra careful. Our broadcast tonight was extended to bring you up-to-date news on the incident in Inaba. The time is now midnight. Yes, we're back in the velvet room. Welcome. Do not be alarmed. 
you are fast asleep in the real world. I have summoned you within your dreams. And so we meet again. This is a space that only those who have, in one way or another, entered into a contract may enter. Okay. In your daily life, you subconsciously heard the call to awaken, and you chose to follow the destiny of your inner voice, thereby enacting your glorious awakening to your power. Hold on to this. From this night forth, you are our guest in this velvet room. Nice. Your destiny will require you to hone your power. And for that, you will inevitably require our help. There is but one prize for this assistance. You must abide by your contract and assume responsibility for all decisions you may make. Very well. The persona you have acquired, it is a side of you that shows itself when you face the world around you. Perhaps you can think of it as a facade of determination you wear to face various difficulties in life. Your persona ability, however, is that of the wild card. Compared to that of others, it is very special. It is like the number zero, empty, yet holding infinite potential within itself. The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart, and the heart is strengthened through bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Social links are necessary for more than strengthening your persona. At times, they will help light the way to the truth you're searching for. Where will your awakened power of the wild card take you? I look forward to traveling the road of your destiny together. <laughs> Till we meet again. Till we meet again. Wahahaha. <laughs> Yo! You saw what was on last night, right? I couldn't tell who it was, but if someone's shown up on TV, we can't ignore it. Let's go check it out after school. Maybe Teddy can tell us something. If it turns out someone was thrown in again, there really might be a culprit behind all this. Even if it is something about that place that's killing the victims. If someone's using that world as a weapon, that's unforgivable. We need to find the culprit, no matter what it takes. There's no way the police can do it. Who'd believe that the murderer kills people by throwing them into the TV? Yeah, I agree. You know, I tried sticking my head in the TV last night the way you did, and it actually worked. I think I can do that now because I have the same power. Persona, wasn't it? Could be that we got this gift from someone specifically so we could solve the case. Then again, you managed to go inside the TV and get your persona first. I feel like as long as you're with me, I can find the culp. Well, let's do our best.
The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Achie, um, about yesterday. We're sorry we worried you. Never mind that. Is Yukiko still not here? Huh? Yukiko-san? Uh, no. At least I haven't seen her today. Oh man, what should I do? Hey, is that stuff you were talking about for real? You know, all that about how people showing up on the Midnight Channel is. Oh, we were just talking about that. We're thinking of checking it out later. The person on TV yesterday? I think it was Yukiko. That kimono looked like the one she wears at the inn, and she wore it during that interview a few days ago, too. I got worried, so I emailed her last night, but she hasn't responded. I called her earlier in the evening, though, and she said she'd be at school today. I... Calm down. We get the picture. And you still haven't heard from her? No! What's that supposed to mean? Wait, are you saying Yukiko was thrown in there? We don't know yet for sure. We should check to see if she's safe first. Give her another call. No good! Her voicemail picked up! She, she's not answering! Are you serious? Then is Yukiko-san inside? S stop it! Something must have come up, like an... Oh, or she might be helping at the end! She wouldn't be able to answer her... Yeah, but would she skip school for that? Well, I'll give the inn a call. Um... Come on, Yukiko. Pick up. Oh, is this Yukiko? Thank God she's there! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I see. Uh, uh, nah, it was nothing. <laughs> She was over at the- She said they had a big group reservation and she had to help out. Yeah. Oh, now that I think about it, this has happened before too. At least once a year. She said she'll be at the end tomorrow too. For crying out loud, Yosuke, you got me worried over nuts. She was totally fine. And you were all, is Yukiko-san inside that place? <laughs> Sorry, but there is a reason we thought that. Oh yeah? What? Well, we thought people show up on the Midnight Channel because they're already over in that world. Hey, what's up, JP? It's all good. We're just here playing Persona 4. I mean, it makes sense, right? You're enjoying people show the up game. on TV because they're inside the TV. The thing is that I want to, like, have a conversation with all of you guys, but it's really hard because there's dialogue. So, you know, dialogue is amazing. But Yukiko-san's <laughs> still here in our world. We might want to see what this is about. All right, let's meet up at Juness after school. Every day is great at Juness. Okay, I think that's more than enough about my sorry escapade. If I hadn't seen the place firsthand, I'd never have believed a story like that. Yeah, no kidding. Anyways, we need to know what's going on inside. Yeah. Too bad there's so many customers around. I forgot there's a sale in the electronics department today. How? By talking to that teddy? I got it. 
Come here a sec. Try sticking your hand in and calling him over. I bet that bear's wandering around the entrance anyway. Hey, Chia, stand over here. Make a wall with me. Oh. What's wrong? Shh! Not so loud, you... Dude! Is that a bite? Wow, that looks like it hurts. <laughs> Shh, that stupid bear must have... Hey, you! Oh, oh, is this a game? No, it's not a game. Can you sense anyone inside there right now? Who's anyone? So there's no one inside? You're sure? I'm not lying. My nose is running as good as ever. <sighs> I'm gonna go warn you. Since she'll be busy this weekend helping out at the inn, I doubt she'd go anywhere alone. Yeah. You'll walk with her to school on Monday. Sure. I'll go pick her up at her house. Maybe we'll find out more on tonight's Midnight Channel. Cross your fingers that this is all just a misunderstanding. What's your cell number? I'll, I'll call you when I watch it tonight. All right. If I'm not mistaken, oh God, bear puns. <laughs> But if I'm not mistaken, I think the clearer... Looks like we found all we're gonna find here. The clearer the picture in the Midnight Channel, the closer it is that things are not going good. And we've still got nothing that points directly to a suspect. We don't even know if this is a homicide. Well, what else could it be? There's no way a body could end up like that by accident. <sighs> I know. We haven't found the cause of death for the first Vic. Now we got a sec. If this is a murder case, there's no doubt we're dealing with a single perp. But if that's true, what the hell's going on? You know, I thought at first this all spun out of that love triangle. No, that singer, Misuzu Hiragi, has a solid alibi. She was performing overseas, and her phone records prove it. And remember, the only reason the scandal went public was because Hiragi herself broke it to the media. No one would put themselves under suspicion that way if they had murder on their mind. That is completely true. You got a point completely there. Completely true. Same with Taro Namatame, her husband. No matter how much we shake him down, nothing links him to the murders. He's been working in the city for the past six months. Seems he was here recently because of the scandal, but he was swamped with work back home at the time of the incident. There are eyewitnesses and other evidence placing him at his office the night that Mayumi Yamano died. And we can't find anything that shows Yamano making contact with Namatame before or after her disappearance. You hear Namatame's career has also been killed stone dead? He's been fired from his position as secretary. He's practically as much of a victim as the Yamano girl. Yeah, I agree. Then we have the second case, regarding Saki Konishi. She's the one who discovered Yamano's corpse. But I don't buy the killer shutting her up as a possible motive. She was killed well after she reported the body, and mm -hmm. the culprit didn't hide her. It's like they were meant to be found. The only other connection is that she attended the same school as the daughter of the inn where Yamano was holed up. But that hardly points to a motive. Coincidences like that are common in a town as small as ours. Yeah, I heard about that angle on the news too. What? Is the story about the inn out already? Okay, I got it. How's this? Maybe there was something about the corpse that only Saki Konishi knew. 
Thank you for the follow. You are amazing, JP. And our perp killed her to keep whatever it was from leaking out. <sighs> Either way, all we can do now is keep investigating anyone involved with the victims. Our perp. It has to be someone in Inaba. Oh, is your detective's intuition at work? <laughs> it's like, you, you're, you're telling him that he does not know Welcome how to do his, what, his job. Well... Before anything, let's go ahead and save. We're still, we still haven't gotten to the part of the game where everything that you do during the day counts. My bad, guys. Good evening. Tonight, Princess Yukiko has a big surprise. I'm gonna go score myself a hot stud. Welcome to Not a Dream, Not a Hoax. Princess Yukiko's hunt for her Prince Charming! And I came prepared! I've got my lacy unmentionables on, stacked from top to bottom! I'm out to catch a whole harem and the best of the lot is gonna be all mine! Well, here I go! already. He said he's gonna be late. Are you going somewhere? I'll be fine by myself. So the weather this weekend will be perfect for going out. As for next week's forecast... Oh, the sun's gonna come out. I should do some laundry. Uh, weren't you going somewhere? Sorry for the hold up. I found some stuff we can use in the closet at home. Take a look at these. We've got our personas, but a golf club's not that reliable of a weapon. So, which one strikes your fancy? Ah, you've got discerning taste. This is a Juness exclusive. The blade's fake, though. As for me... Wait, maybe both would be good, too. Kinda like this? Or like this? What about this? <laughs> oh my god, why? <clears throat> Thank you. 
Two suspicious young males found, one armed with multiple weapons, requesting immediate backup. Huh? Oh, crap. I mean, no, 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 no. This, this isn't what it looks like. We didn't steal it. I guess that's not what matters. Anyways, we're not doing anything bad. We're just two ordinary kids who like weapons. Oh, uh, that doesn't sound right either. <laughs> Put the weapons down now. We'll listen to your story at the station. Hands where I can see them, too. I said now! But, but this isn't... Are you resisting an officer of the law? You're under arrest! You didn't seem the type to pull a stupid stunt like this. You know what's been going on around town. We got men stationed everywhere, for God's sake. You're lucky I was around. Or this would have ended up on your permanent record. We're sorry. Wait, so the one that disappeared is the Amagi girl? Seems like it. That she's just a high schooler, you know. Could be that she decided to run away from home. Hey, did he say Amagi? Hmm? Who's what now? Oh, uh, nothing. I'm sure you've seen on the news that there's an investigation in progress. We're sensitive about certain things. You're free to go. But this better not happen again. It won't happen again. I totally swear it won't happen again. Whoa, pardon me. Huh? Aren't you the kid staying at Dojima-san's place? Oh, uh, can we ask you something? It's about Yukiko-san. I mean, Yukiko oh. Amagi of... Did something happen to her? Huh? Oh, um... Am I allowed to say? Well, if you're friends with Miss Amagi, keep this between us. We got a call from Miss Amagi's parents yesterday evening saying they couldn't find her anywhere. Since it was the weekend, the workers at the inn were extremely busy and no one saw Miss Amagi around that time. Oh, but that doesn't necessarily mean this is a case just yet. But, people have been turning up dead on foggy days, so we're really sensitive to stuff like this. By the way, did she say anything to you guys about maybe going through some hard times? Uh... Well, that announcer, Miss Yamano, was staying at the Amagi Inn before the first murder. Seems Miss Yamano had some harsh w The stress of it caused the manager to collapse. And, with Miss Amagi being the manager's daughter, she must have felt pretty strongly about the incident, you know? By the way, did Miss Amagi ever hint that she might be leaving the house? Because if not, there's been some theories floating around that she's laying low for some reason or another. Ah, crap. I think I've gone too far. Adachi, what the hell are you chatting with civvies for? And where's my coffee? Sorry. The worst cop ever. Hey, does that detective think that Yukiko-san... Oh, uh, well, there was a slight misunderstanding. We'll tell you about it later. Anyway, something's up with Yukiko-san. Huh? You know- I kept calling her so, but she didn't pick up! So I went to her house, and it turns out Yukiko really did disappear! I guess we've got no choice but to go now. But that aside, the cops are saying some weird stuff. They think Yukiko-san's hiding to lay low. Apparently Yukiko-san's mom collapsed because that announcer lady bitched her out. They think that gives her a motive. And the fact that the announcer died right after makes her even more suspicious. What? They think Yukiko did it? Oh, what the hell is wrong with them? Dude, don't snap at me. Yukiko's the victim here, damn it, not the suspect. Right! That's the important thing! With the police totally on the wrong track, we've got to handle it ourselves. I'm going to. And that's final. 
I'm going to save Yukiko no matter what. Are you going to be all right? But man, they just confiscated our weapons. We can't go in empty hand. Weapons? Oh, I... Come on, fo Here we are. Uh, metal works, I guess? They sell all sorts of metal crap, like katanas and... Doesn't that seem weird to you? Why would you know about a place like this anyway? Oh, I get it. You watch one too many kung fu movies and... It's not that at all. I overheard some guys in our class talk about it. They said this place sells weapons and armor. Here, this one looks good, but it might be too heavy. I don't know, Chie. I still think it's too dangerous. I know how you feel, but... You don't! You don't know shit about how I feel. Yukiko might die from this for crying out. I'm going, and that's that! Psh, I'll be fine. My reflexes are second to none. Listen, I'm not kidding around. You don't know what it's like in there. If you're not gonna listen to our... If you insist on coming, just make sure you have something to protect yourself. All right. But man, what should we get? Hey, mind picking out something for me too? You're our main asset in battle right now. Five thousand gems. I got my stuff all picked out. How about you? You know, if we wear this stuff around town, we'll just get picked up again. But it's not like we can waltz into Juness with a sack full of gear and expect no one to notice. Why not conceal them under our uniforms? I don't think people would notice. Okay, let's try that. All right, let's split up and get ready. The store will be crowded until the afternoon sale ends. Then I'll see you guys at the Juness food court. So, it finally begins. Now, if you'll give me a moment of your time, We are entering the Velvet Room. We have been expecting you. The catastrophe that has headed your way. It has already taken human lives in its approach towards you. But you have nothing to fear. You already have the power to fight against it. It seems that the time for you to use your persona has come. <laughs> Your persona ability is that of the wild card. If you strengthen your bonds properly, their power will help you overcome any ordeal. Our role is to facilitate that. My contribution is to give birth to new personas. By mixing together multiple persona cards, I can transmute them into a new form. This, in other words, is the fusion of personas. 
you have the power to hold multiple personas and to use them accordingly. When you defeat an enemy, the seeds of possibility you attain will appear before you as cards. At times, they may be hard to grasp, but you must master your fear and reach out to them. When you obtain... If you have been developing your social links, then your persona will gain even more power. They will be one of your chief sources of strength. You would That's do well amazing. to take this to heart. The tome you see in my hand is the Persona Compendium. Registering the personas you hold will allow you to recall them at any time. Please see me when you wish to use it. Oh, and one more thing. I would like to introduce a new resident of the Velvet Room, who will be helping you on your journey. <laughs> Marie? <sighs> yeah, I can hear. Nice to meet you. Huh? Oh, maybe. That'd explain why you're so familiar. Hmm. Excuse her. This is Marie. Her soul is still very young and... Shut up. Don't tell him any more about me than you need to. As you can see, she may be brusque at times, but please understand that she is only an apprentice and forgive her for her impoliteness. Marie will be dealing with skill cards. Okay. Using these cards will allow you to provide your personas with new powers. Also, I am sure she will help you form a bond between yourself and the outside world. Marie will contact you at a later date. Please feel free to speak with her here when you wish to use her services. <laughs> Do you recall my words to you before? The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. I meant precisely what I said. Defeat in battle is not the only way your journey may come to an end. Please do not forget this. When next we meet, you will come here of your own will. <laughs> I look forward to it. Until then, farewell. That's pretty nice. Okay. Okay guys, so this is the end of the stream. I know that it's uh, how do I say it's pretty early in terms of like the stream mostly lasts two hours, but like I mentioned before, I'm really tired and you know, I don't want to be like all quiet and everything throughout the whole the whole um stream but thank you all for joining in today uh tomorrow tomorrow's monday so tomorrow we will be playing mtg arena we're gonna go back um actually i already have a draft on the way so we're gonna continue the draft and then we're gonna do a sealed so after the draft we will do sealed and then we'll see if we can do some deck building um tomorrow plus i will um for all the viewers that last time on friday were joining us they had some questions on like how to like you know do better in arena and i will help you out with that tomorrow so nothing guys keep gaming stay respawning and remember if you guys want to you guys can donate to my um stream or be or subscribe to my twitch channel there's already one emote it's um, official for tier one um, sub subs, and we're working on tier two and tier three 
subs so thank you all for your support and for everything that you guys have done plus don't forget that you guys can actually donate as well to extra life right there you see that we are in 723 out of 1100 dollars of donations for our fundraiser plus this week is the last week to be part of the the last of us 2 giveaway um so pay attention to that guys that will be this last this is going to be the last week to be part of the giveaway and um i will announce tomorrow or tuesday i will announce when we will be announcing the winner of our giveaway to enter the giveaway is easy if you make a donation of five dollars or more you will have an entry in the giveaway so your donation has to be for extra life let me clarify for extra life now for me extra life <laughs> so nothing guys keep gaming stay respawning and this is the reason why we do extra life girl with just a head full of long blonde hair. She wasn't afraid of heights. In fact, she wasn't really afraid of anything. We had noticed she had just gotten weak. I said, what's the matter with you? I said, you're a tumbler. You can <laughs> tumble and do backflips. It progressed from that to uh, she fainted a couple times. So I took her into the doctor the next day and they immediately sent us to Texas Children's Hospital. She was just, from the moment I met her, she was about 11 years old, she just had a sort of magical presence about her and nothing would keep that girl down. Victoria was diagnosed at the age of 11 and a half with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Okay, thank you. Now I'm gonna hand this over to Dr. Frickback and see what she has to say. Well, what's, what's your name again? Uh, my name is, um, Bunny McBunk Buck. Well, Bunny McBunk Buck, today our breaking story is about a little dog named Arfie. The first time I met Victoria, we were doing a radiothon at a radio station in Houston, Texas. She was very full of energy and was already considered a long-term survivor of leukemia. At the end of two and a half years, when Victoria's treatment was over, they performed another spinal tap and a bone marrow test. Joellen called me uh, and she had just the worst news ever, and that is that Victoria's cancer had returned. Nine months later, she relapsed again. So this was three times she was told that she had cancer and she had little to no immune system left. And I asked her what she wanted for Christmas uh, and she said, I'd really just like to get out of this hospital and go see Christmas lights. Christmas lights are something my family and I go see together all the time, and I can't even leave to go see Christmas lights. And after about 10 minutes, we rolled back upstairs to her room, and we had our picture made in front of a little Christmas tree. And I said goodbye. Uh, and that picture is uh, one of my most prized possessions because uh, it was taken just moments before I saw my friend for the last time and Victoria passed away before I could get back to see her. Victoria passed away on January 21st, 2008, after a four-year battle with leukemia, failed bone marrow transplants, and fungal infections. It was as a result of Tori's death sitting at her funeral that I made up my mind that I needed to be doing this not just a couple days a year with a radiothon, but I needed to be doing this with my life. Doc wanted to do something special for Victoria in memory of Victoria. And he came up with a fundraiser called Extra Life. And this fundraiser would be for the gaming community. It just occurred to me that gamers should be able to do the things they love to, uh, to help 
sick and injured kids as well. And so Extra Life was born. 1,200 gamers showed up on October 15th in 2008. Each and every year afterwards, it continued to grow. Gamers responded by being able to uh, game for their local hospitals. The next year, 4,500 gamers showed up, raised almost half a million dollars. The year after that, it was 15,000 gamers raising a million, and the next year, 17,000 gamers raising $2.1 million. Video games are like the number one form of entertainment on planet Earth, have been now for quite a while. Anyone could be involved in Extra Life. Getting involved with Extra Life is really simple. You just have to go to the website at extra-life.org, put in a few details in there, join a team if you'd like to, or create one. After that, it's as simple as fundraising with your friends and family. Let them know why you are doing this. They should know that the money you raise is going to stay local in your community. We never will truly lose Victoria because she will live for all of us through this. It started with a little girl in Orange, Texas. And I think that's all we have to say for today. All we have to say today, so... So we'll see, see you tomorrow, tomorrow on at News at... Whatever time it is. is. At Victoria's house. Saludos, gente, bienvenidos a su pasado programa de Tech Display. Se puso más difícil el juego, parece que hay un campo de... Can I take a turn? Sinceramente un deck solamente fuente buenísimo. No te pierdas. Tech Play por Hack TV. Lunes a viernes por el canal 33 y canal 30 de Liberty. Bienvenidos una vez más a tu programa de Tech.